going through your mind, kind of that delay while they're checking on the pitcher and you're just kind of standing off to the side? Uh, just put the ball in play, on, put the ball in play. We're down one in that situation, you know, trying to get me the soft contact when come, they've been coming in the whole game on me. So I just, just put the ball in play, you know, because the strikeout would be huge in that situation for them. So just play proper, put the ball in play, bring the run in, and, you know, hopefully just, that's what I did and went over the fence. What was the difference in those first seven innings from a team perspective compared to those seventh and eighth innings? Uh, we were just missing a lot of pitches. You know, we're usually a hitter, uh, team hitter, like, that's to hit the pass ball a lot. We were just missing them the whole time, you know, clipping them back to back. So, you know, we made the adjustment, you know, just get on top of the ball, just nice and easy swing, and, you know, play it out. How unreal was it to see everyone going to the plate in the final two innings and seeing you all hitting home runs, <laughs> everything? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, it was a barrel fest. I mean, offensively, they have really good pitchers all around. I mean, it felt really good, you know, so we, that means we have a lot of depth in our bench and also with the guys that are starting, so it, it was really, really good. How absurd is it that there's these guys hitting homers and Blake Burke can't get in the lineup and then he maybe hits the one that went the furthest? <laughs> Jesus, yeah, I know. Uh, that ball went about 500 feet. Um, no, but it just shows, like, our depth. You know, we got guys, and like you said, we got guys on the bench that, that can put up numbers like the way we are right now, and, and they're not even playing because there's only nine spots on the field, you know? So that, that actually a good problem to have, you know, whenever like one of us gets hurt, knock on wood doesn't happen or anything. So we got guys that can, you know, do the job just as better, so. Chris Carter, part of their middle inning against Portland, he stayed red hot that evening. What have you seen from him, and what has he done to kind of start get going there in the I mean, just a guy, I mean, he works, that guy works. I mean, you see it in the cage working, I mean, literally working 24-7. I mean, and he's good for him that he's, he's paying off because, I mean, the boost his confidence up. And he's a great hitter. I mean, you will see it. He's a great hitter, even better defender. So I'm, I'm really, really happy for him. So just, like you see, he's just paying off. He's really good. So you're displaying a team going from three hits through six innings to 17 runs by the third inning. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I guess just, you know, make it simple. You know, we're, like I said before, we're just missing the fastball. We usually don't do that a lot. So we just put a nice little swing, you know, trying to get on base, get the rally going. And that's what actually helped us out a lot. And, you know, we've made some big swings, some big moments. So we got everybody in the lineup with two go so. You scored seven runs or more now, I guess, three in the inning, three times the past two weekends. Just what's it like being an offense that can explode really, it feels like, at any time? <clears throat> it just shows, I mean, I guess, like I said before, you know, we can handle the bat very well, you know, pretty much known for that. But we can also play defense. So if we don't do it on defensively, we can do it offensively as well. So it just shows a lot, you know, all the guys one through nine can do damage in any situation, in any count whatsoever. So, you know, I mean, pretty good problem to have, I will say. What do you see from Chase getting out of that third inning with bases loaded with nobody else? Oh, that was huge. I mean, I, I probably blacked out screaming. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie. But, I mean, it was big time stuff. Honestly, that guy's going to be a big leaguer, big leaguer one day. There's no doubt about it in my mind. So, I mean, kudos to him. He's really, really good. One more for Jarrell. You've been a part of a team that the offense, pitching, everything seems to go right whenever you guys need it. Uh, I mean, yeah, in the past, I guess, but I mean, not like I will say, I mean, not as good as this one. I mean, last year, we had pretty good pitching and stuff, but I will say from the difference between last year's teams and these teams, I mean, we got, we have a little more talent this year. Last year's teams, we just wanted it more, I guess, or like more like type of like grind players. And this year, you know, we can get out with a lot of things like pitching. We got three probably first rounders in the, on the Saturday night like on the weekend, and we got guys one through nine just banging the ball around. So, like I said, it's pretty special to be a part of this team. Thanks, Joe. Absolutely.